Here's a, um, a video on what I did to get a really nice interesting power supply out of a old computer power supply. Here's what it looks like when it comes out of the the computer. It's got all these connectors and all these wires and everything. You know, it's just like a rainbow of colors. Uh, there's a, a series of wires and you, what you do is you cut off all these plastic connectors. Just cut them all off so that you can get at at, and also the uh, <clears throat> the little uh, plastic um, keepers that that are circled around. Just cut them all off with us, uh, just so that they're free, so that you can fan out and collect all of the different colors of wires: the red, yellow, orange, black, uh, and there's a green green wire. I put that together to make the thing actually work. What you need to do is you need to join the green and the black, and that that's uh, a turn on or a, a wake from sleep uh, signal from the, the motherboard. So you put the, uh, those two together. The black is the, the zero volts or ground or reference voltage. Orange is 3.3 .3 volts. Red is 5 volts. Yellow is 12 volts. The blue one is minus 12 volts relative to the black. So, in fact, you can get between minus 12 and plus 5, you can get a 17 volt difference. This will be a 15 volt difference between the minus 12 and the plus 3. And then you can get, sorry, that's uh, plus 3 here. And between the blue wire and the yellow wire, you can get a 24 volt difference. Um, the uh, ratings on the uh, side of the uh, power supply box that are usually here you can see them and that will give you the number of amps that each voltage will give you the 24 volt difference between the yellow and the blue is very limited it's, it's about half an amp usually something like that but you can get you know 20 amps out of the 5 volts and 25 amps or 20 30 amps in some cases uh, out of the 3 volts and, and you get at least 15 amps or something like that out of the 12 volt. Now this 12 volt is 12.0 so it's not good enough to charge a battery. So it, to charge a battery you need something like 15 volts so you could charge a battery with, between the, the plus 3 and the minus 12 but you're limited to how much current so you'd get maybe 500 milliamps going into the battery so it's not a, a heavy duty charger but it can be done. Anyway, what I done, what what I did was to to fan them out, and you can see my black wire, my uh, red wire, the orange wire is kind of in in there, where my thing is. There's the yellow wire, and on each of those, um, what I did was to to make a set of small brass knurled um, nuts, make it easy, and then what I did. Um, and then here's another example of maybe a little bit clearer. You can see there's the the zero volts. There's the plus three, the plus five, the plus twelve um, volts. And what I did to make it a little bit more convenient was I designed a an ammeter um, that has a maximum reading of 500 milliamps because that's the limitation on the uh, minus twelve. And then put a, a big fat uh, resist variable resistor down in there that's good for for half an amp anyway and then I was able to select uh, between this point which is the ground reference and my um, my ammeter you can see I can join it to any one of the three different voltages and then I, I get the, the the negative and the positive coming out here I attach whatever I want to do here and, and with this control, I can then govern the amount of current. I'm still getting that 3 volts or 12 volts or whatever, but then I can figure out how much current I'm actually putting through whatever it is that I'm doing. But that's a, that's a uh, thing that most people may not want to do. But <coughs> Pardon me. So to get a, a really nifty power supply, and most of the most time you can pick up these, these power supplies for free, so you get 12 volts, 3 volts, 5 volts, and, and 12 volts off this thing. And then for, if you want just even more sophistication, uh, in this particular one, you can see there's that blue wire. 
and that gives me the it's actually 23 volts between the plus 12 volt and the minus 12 volts that it's actually given me um, the, the 23 volts between them and there's my again my zero volt uh, connection so if I want 12 volts I would go between here and here if I had 23 volts there's the plus and there's the minus of the 23 and so on so I can select with my uh, the wire that goes into my the rest of the mechanism I can go to any one of those and get whatever voltage I want so I found it to very be very useful uh, as a as a nice uh, little power supply and generally speaking for free and um, I guess uh, in terms of these nuts you could probably you know you might have to I use their 832 uh, threads so you know do whatever you want to do to get that kind of thing you can use banana jacks you can just plug in whatever you want but there you have it so you start just to review start with something like that you fan them out and string them together remembering that the green and the black are the thing that turns it on or off and actually I forgot to say that what I did internally um, is what I normally do is put a little switch on the green and black and drill a little hole here you have to take the can apart to do that put a little switch here and that will let you turn the thing on and off so it's not on all the time so there's another again there's a, found a convenient place to drill that hole so there you there you have it uh, every time I make one of these things it's a little different what some people have done is to to put a load on the uh, on the uh, power supply they they put a 60 ohm resistor it doesn't it's not really needed between one of the plus five and black the, between the red and a black uh, just to, to create uh, you know some kind of a load on the on the power supply so you more or less guarantee it starts up but uh, that's not essential it, it's kind of a useful thing but not really uh, not really required